if they're going to use Texas and Greg Abbott and their Republican leadership, if they're going to use this framework to put women's lives at risk, we're going to use it to save people's lives here in the state of California. That's the spirit, the principle behind this law. Hi, this is Alonzo Bowden with another Rebel HQ TYT video. And uh, again, forgive the sound of the lighting. I'm at a hotel. I'm not in my home office studio, but that's not important. Here's what's important. Governor Newsom is going after the guns and he's using the same law that Texas used to go after abortions. That's right. Anybody can point the finger and sue anybody involved with illegal guns or assault weapons or ghost guns or anything else. Uh, they're, they're doing the same law. Govern this time last year, Governor Newsom was involved in this stupid recall effort. They were trying to put Larry Elder, a AM radio DJ, into the governor's office, and it was a waste of time and millions of dollars, but he won. He kept his job, and now he's going after them using their own law, using the Texas law, which the Supreme Court said is okay to have people report other people. You know what? He's using their weapon against them. It's almost like we got a good guy with a gun going after bad guys with abortion. We're sick and tired of being on the defense in this movement. It's time to put them on the defense. You cannot sell, you cannot manufacture, you cannot transfer these illegal weapons of war and mass destruction in the state of California. And if you do, there are 40 million people that can collect $10,000 from you and attorney fees for engaging in that illegal activity. So Governor Newsom is saying that anyone can sue anyone involved, sort of like the Texas abortion law, which actually should be called the Karen law. In Texas, it's a Karen law. Why? Because the abortion only involves the woman involved, maybe the family of that woman or the man involved. It doesn't involve the general public. Random people shouldn't be able to get involved with, say, the driver who took her to the hospital, of course, the doctor, who did the abortion or whoever else they want to go after. Now, the gun law, on the other hand, is a bit different because when there's a mass shooting, when there's a murder, when there's a robbery, when there's something done with one of these guns, it affects a lot of people. This ain't no Karen thing. These are a lot of people involved. There's victims, there's families that are victims, etc. So everyone can sue. And I hope everyone does. And I hope they sue everyone. This is the only way you're going to stop this nonsense. You have to go after not just the gun manufacturer, but the gun seller, the distributor, maybe the truck drivers carrying them. This law is really going to work. They're going to go after everyone. You know why? Because I live in California. And if there's one thing we got, it's lawyers. I can hear the daytime lawyer ads already. Have you or someone you know been shot? Well, we at the law firm of G&G &G, that get those guns is here for you, and we're ready to sue. We'll sue the gun manufacturer. We'll sue the bullet manufacturer. We'll sue the gun store. We'll sue the truck that drove them there. We'll sue whoever sold the gasoline to the truck that drove them there. You name them, we'll sue them. There's a gun involved. It didn't have to be you. It didn't have to be your family. It's anyone. Did you hear the guy around the block had a cousin's son who got shot with a BB gun? We'll get him. G and G, we're here to sue. As a matter of fact, if you want, we'll get our AR-15 and shoot you with it and then sue them for making it and selling it to us. We're here for you. You're going to make some money. Supreme Court said we could do it. Governor said we should do it. Call G and G tomorrow and get your cash. Newsom looked good. He looked strong. He looked confident. He looked determined. He looked, dare I say, presidential. I mean, let's be honest, Joe Biden isn't getting any younger and the Democrats are going to need some new blood. Now, listen, I know it's a long shot for a Democratic governor of California to run for president. Is he qualified? Absolutely. Runs the seventh largest economy in the world and he's grown California. He was doing a great job until he went to the wrong party during the pandemic. He got to wear that mask. Anyway, that's all behind him now. And he's testing the waters. He's running ads in Florida. He's running ads in Texas. Why not go big? Who knows what might happen? Let's see how this gun law goes. Now, I know he's following the model of the abortion law in Texas. And we know that somehow the Supreme Court is going to say it's different. See, you're not, you're not 
stopping a woman from having an abortion. You're stopping mass murderers from killing school kids. We can't have that. The NRA sent us a check and told us they need to keep doing it. It's our Supreme Court. That's the way they look at things. But I admire Gavin Newsom for trying, and maybe this is the first step. Good on you. Good on a Democrat for stepping up. Let's see how it works.